Songbird Chrisik and I'm back with another video okay guys I know it's been a while it's been about two weeks I have a reason why I've been a bit absent but before I get into the video please like the video like 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 comment below and tell me how have you been since this entire pandemic where you're up to what you do when you're bored all of that below the comment section don't forget to subscribe guys road to 2k keep supporting the girl cuz I'm back all right now guys I have this is like a life update and also a bit of a story time as you can see in the title you should see you know where I was homeless I have some updates on me moving cuz new background guys new background and also I have some good news to share all right so tell me which one know first I don't know any mini mini more story time you want the life update tell me where you want but let me just get into it so let's start off with the greatest news that I've gotten the past few days which was guys I got this in the mail <laughs> guys i got my letter from google adsense so you guys should know what that mean girl is about to put in the work because the work is being put it in put it don't mind that but yeah I got my letter. I actually got my letter on the day I was moving. Um, it was in the mail. I felt so happy. I was so happy. I was so happy. I was so happy. Oh my god! I was so happy. So, you guys know the steps. You know, you got this letter to get your pin. Can't show it to you guys. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I'm so happy that I got the letter. It did take a bit of time. I got an email at first that I was supposed to. You know receive the letter how long it take it take about i would say a month it took, it, took, it took four weeks for me to get it um thank god because i was looking i was looking up how long it would take for people in jamaica and some persons had to be resending some persons would have to you know wait maybe two months i don't know but luckily i waited the three to four weeks as it stated that it would have taken so I'm really I really appreciate that that I got my winner <laughs> thumbnail <laughs> all right so apart from this which I'm really 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 happy that I got I also as I stated before guys I did a vlog I did a shopping vlog new home shopping vlog if you guys don't remember you can look back in my videos where i did a vlog you know me and Ayana went on the road we you know shop try to shop for some stuff of you know a good bed and all of that um you know i'm gonna drop a few clips because i have a few clips that i didn't get to post so i'm gonna drop it when we were searching we went downtown you know to try to get some good prices oh good at balling down price because me not really good at that you know so but that's for bring Ayana because man i tell you me not really know offer ball long price and we get for balling the price so have a big up Ayana for that one yeah when they come on to balling down the price
the deal was I, you know I definitely wanted a bed um, a dresser um, just as my budget to see what exactly I can get and a mattress um, and you know I got the deal and it was really good I was going with this whole silver furniture thing and I got it it's perfect it's exactly what I wanted it came out perfect and it was really good so after you know shopping getting everything and then it was leading leading up to getting the items it took a bit of time for us to get it um based on availability and then it was between the time of no movement a lot so I guess you know that kind of pushed it back but everything happened for a reason because the original place I was supposed to move to didn't work out and um you know I got a new place and it's perfect for you know what I wanted and I would stay in the same area that I'm from so I uh, love that love that because I was I was gonna go to a different parish but you know still gonna be here so that went well that's the reason why you guys weren't really seeing me is because I was moving and you know up and down getting settled in and stuff like that so that's why you guys aren't really seeing me but I was trying my best to get a few clips of what I was doing but I just could not post because I was so busy and I remember I have my little business on the side guys Chrissy collections on Instagram that I'm trying to you know push off the right way so guys support your girl as much as you can okay whether you're in Jamaica or overseas so, apart from that now, with the whole moving, let's get into the story time. Now, stuff like this, this opportunity to move off and even have my own furniture or, you know, is... I, I'm really grateful because of where I'm coming from. Now, you must say, hmm, pretty girl like me, well, look, all, you know, you know, how could I be homeless? But I'm telling you guys, I was homeless. Now, this all started when I, you know, became, became I was like 18. I was 18 I think you know just left high school uh, started to start a little job and um, just you know I grew up with my father and uh, you know I don't fully remember exactly what led up to this entire thing but I was just not comfortable at the home anymore you know I was I was you know being warned that I need to leave I need to go out on my own I need to go because I'm working I need to go so you know as a young person and someone you know keeps saying you know you need to leave you need to leave you know you're going to want to leave because you're not welcomed you know so you know at that time no my mother encouraged me to come live with her now bear in mind I didn't live with my mother I didn't grow up with her either you know and she encouraged me to come stay with her so after one day I you know I pack up my stuff and I went to live with my mother and I only spent one week and four days there um bear in mind when i left my father's place she didn't care where i went so um when i went to live with my mother now and you know she's just a whole different kind of case it was an entire situation and um one sunday she just told me to leave she just woke me up. i'm sleeping on a sunday i won't forget it was a sunday and i was sleeping and she was like get up get up get up you know somebody I be talking about, get up get up get up time for you to leave you gotta go you gotta go and I was like what she's like yes you have to go you have you can't stay here anymore you have to go and I'm like I mean okay I mean what am I supposed to do if you don't want me to stay here so I began packing up my clothes and not really sure I really and truly I didn't even care that I didn't have anywhere to stay I just needed to ensure that I went to work monday because it was a sunday and i need to ensure that i don't lose my bonus incentive because i didn't go to work on monday i had to ensure that i go to work on monday that i didn't lose any money because in this time i need it so you know i started to pack up my clothes i didn't have anything to really put it in you know she offered to give me her suitcase temporarily and i went and i rolled up my clothes and stuff like that um i called one of my friends no, I had a boyfriend at the time, but we were not together anymore. Yeah, we weren't together. Guys, if you don't remember the Yamit story, it was that youth. So, I, we weren't together anymore and, but we were like on and off. It was like shaky. It was on the brink of leaving. So, I didn't know who to call. So, I was calling him, telling him what happened, you know, and, you know, I was saying like, I need to come stay with you until I find somewhere, all of that, that, that. He said, okay. 
all right so i called my other friend now he has a van and told him to come and pick me up so i could go over my basically ex-boyfriend's house i think <laughs> and um you know he came and took forever to come because he fell asleep he came and packed up my stuff and i left no i couldn't go over my boyfriend at the time immediately i couldn't go over his house immediately because i think somebody was there or something like that i had to wait a few days so i had to find somewhere to sleep so i could go to work the monday you understand so <laughs> i had to you know i basically had to stay at my friend's house to get ready to go to work in the morning so i could be at work when i left work now I had to pack up my stuff there and went to my next friend's house and stay there so I could sleep and go to work the Tuesday and then I think by the Wednesday I was able to go over my ex-boyfriend's house to stay so I guess yeah I was basically homeless for about three days where I had to be you know back and forth for like my friend's houses to ensure that i don't lose my job and stuff like this allows me to reflect and be definitely grateful for all that i have been through because to be honest i don't regret anything because it has made me a better person today so when i say that i can go out on my own this time it's not it's not unplanned it's planned and i was able to get certain things i saved and stuff like that so I'm just truly grateful that i was able to do that because i remember when i didn't have a choice of planning and i had to just whoosh be on my own and you know after staying with my ex-boyfriend at the time for a while you know i got a little bit of money because i was trying to look a partner thing and when i got i think the partner was very cheap it was a little partner like fifteen thousand dollars i think was the draw and i got it and i just said here what well, i'm just gonna try to find somewhere to live on my own and because i know i couldn't stay with him because we weren't together it wasn't like no togetherness so you know it was a temporary stay so i decided to go on my own to be honest guys i only had a bed and a fan to my name a bed and a fan to my name and i let it work you know a bed and a fan to my name on my suitcase and i made it work still get dressed to go to work and you know face my challenges and i i, I got i got through it you know and i'm as i said i'm in a way better position than i am today and which i'm totally grateful so you know moving into my new space guys you know i mean i have everything but i'm definitely as i said way better than where i was before and i'm just riding the waves right now i guess i'll give you guys a room tour in another video because the girl is still fixing up the place but that's basically the life update that's basically the story time of what exactly happened with me being homeless going from friend's house to friend's house to friend's house and you know still keeping my spirits up and i think that's what helped me to be such a, a strong and independent female that i am and yeah so guys thank you so much for watching please remember to like the video like 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 comment below and tell me if you understand where i'm coming from if you see why i'm so grateful and comment below if you like my my new version or you like my wall what do you think what do you think about the color it's like turquoise blue I actually picked the wrong color it was supposed to be turquoise green but they kind of color blind so i so come it end up with turquoise blue you get me so what does that work with it yeah and guys remember do remember to subscribe guys road to 2k you don't know girl get her letter girl get her letter so you know who happy so now i'm gonna put in the work i am settled in some more videos coming your way thank you so much for supporting me and a girl is back and we busy okay all right thank you so much for watching bye